Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is two lowercase and two uppercase method in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and for this example, I have this text in my composition and it grabs the text from the name of my composition. So whatever I type in here, it's gonna put it in my text in my composition. So for example, if I type something like one, two, three, as you can see, it does put that in my composition. Now, if you notice, everything I typed in here is lowercase. Now, in my composition, the first letter of each word is uppercase, and then everything else is lowercase. But what if I type everything uppercase in here, like this? One, two, three. And if I let go, it doesn't matter what I type in here. It still grabs the first letter of each word, and it capitalizes it, and then everything else is lowercase. So let's try something like this. I'm going to say one, two, three. So again, it looks kind of crazy, but if I let go, it still does the same thing. So let me show you how to set this up. So for this example, I'm going to go inside this Ucromedia text and I'm going to select the source text, hit S twice on my keyboard to solo it, and then Alt click on the stopwatch to create the expression here. And then next, I'm going to type the following. So I'll say this comp, period name. And what it will do, it will basically grab the, the name of my composition here. And as you might notice, it looks kind of crazy here exactly how it's written there. Now, I want to isolate just the first word here. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to say period, split, and then, in other words, it's going to split everywhere where there's space. So it's going to give me an index of each word. By the way, if you don't know how to use split, you can check out tip number 37. So now it's split every word into each own index. So I'll keep going with that. So I want the first word. So I'm going to say index zero. So if I let go, it's going to give me the first word. And then I'm going to keep going with that. I want the first character in that word. So I'm going to say period character at. And if I leave that blank in my parentheses here, it's going to give me the first word in here. By the way, if you don't know how to use character at, you can check out tip number 35. I got exactly what I want. Now I want to make this uppercase. So how do I do that? And to do that, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say period. And then I'm going to do two uppercase. As you can see, it does work quite well. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a small portion of this expression here up to this point and then copy that. And then I'll do plus and then paste the same thing. Now watch what happens. So I have the first character in its uppercase and then it adds the rest of the word. That's almost what I want, but I want to get rid of this first character in here. So I want to keep the first letter and make it uppercase. And then I want to add the rest of the word and make that lowercase. So to do that, I'm going to do the following. So I'm going to say period substring. And in substring here, I'm going to say start at index 1. So 0 would be O, but index 1 would be N. So I'm going to say start at the second word and then keep going and then end on the last one. So I'm going to say period length. So if I let go, it's giving me exactly what I want. But the second portion of it, you know, it's still not lowercase. We still have uppercase. And to fix that, I'm going to say period to lowercase. So right now, it's giving me exactly what I want. How do we apply the same thing to all the other words? How do we make that happen? And to do that, we're going to use for loop. And if you don't know how to use for loop, you can check out tip number 42. All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to say the following here. I'm going to say n, you're going to equal to, and just an empty string. Okay, and then we're going to do our for loop here. I'm going to say for, and then inside my parentheses, I'm going to say i, you're going to equal to 0. And then i is going to be less than, and then I'll paste this path here. Basically, I want the length. In other words, as long as I is less than, you know, all my words, basically, that's what I'm doing here, then we'll run that expression. And then we'll do I plus plus, which means over here, incrementally increase by one. So we're going to do open curly bracket here and put our expression in there. And then we'll do the close curly bracket. And in here, I'm going to say N plus equal to this expression. So watch what happens when I run it. As you can see, it repeats the same word over and over, but it, it kind of works. And by the way, we need to probably add some space between these words. And to do that, I'm just going to say plus and then space. So that's working quite well. All right, so how do we set it up to where instead of grabbing the same word over and over, how do we grab different word each time? So let's fix that here. So instead of having it to index zero, I'm going to change that to index i because we do know that I start at zero, but then it changes with each loop. So I'm going to change that to I. I'm going to change this one to I as well, and that one as well. 
So now if I let go, you can see that everything is working quite well. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can go to ukramedia.com slash tip 43. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.